What's up guys, this is Ferdinand here. This is another tutorial which is blending animations in with a, a background scene. I was going to say skin, but um, a background scene. Like A lot of people have said that they've made animations but they don't know how to make it blend in with say um, a Model Fair 3 map and that. So this is just a quick little tutorial on how to do that. Alright, so we've got that all sorted. Um, first of all, you want to import a background cinematic, which I will do now. Uh, here's the, this is the big project I've done. I'll just pick. Uh, yeah, this one. I'll just use a picture just because it's easier to work with. Add a background, shove that on the background. And that is 1280 by 720. And there you go. And as you can see, this sort of like grid, which is basically the floor, can be adjusted. And what you want to do is you want to sort of match it to the actual floor on the the cinematic. So if I just sort of get that right. I would say that matched the floor. So yeah, once you got that, I'll just save the camera. I just hit the keyframe, so even if I move it, I can snap back to that spot. Um, that's just basically making sure this um, little white thing selected and check the keyframe button. And so what you want to do is you want to import an animation. So I'll do that now. Um, obviously, you'll have your own animation. Uh, three model, three models. I use a Skyrim one. Uh, a spider. Uh, yeah. uh, which one? I'll just attack bite, and then just move that into shit. Group them all together. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Group. Maybe size it up to double the size, which is two. That do. Move it along the green axis. Turn it sort of 180 degrees, and if you, I need to add the textures onto this, which uh, Skyrim, Spider textures, just open up. You can you don't have to actually like go Spider N. Okay, it's that one. It's already when you open it, it's already got the name sort of selected because it's already had a, a previous picture loaded in. Obviously, it's a different directory, so it's got fry, uh, Frost Spider A. When you select it, it has it this already selected, and when you click open, it will just automatically find it. Um, as long as you're in the the right folder and that, then that's all good. So I'll just import these textures. And there we go. So we've got a spider on the Model Fair 3 map. Uh, it looks a bit funny. You um, need some shadows in that. Easy, just create a floor, and that floor will be along sort of the floor you made with this grey grid. And so, if I just pre render that, that's sort of the horizon, and this is your floor. And what you want to do is you want to grab your cinematic again, place it on the floor, click on the actual material button, go to projection, and click frontal. And that will Okay, you can't see it, but usually that will just it will make a darker box. Um, it'll, it, you can still see the background, but it'll just be darker around this area. But no worries, you can't see that, so just go to the floor, right click, Cinema 4D tags, composite in, and check composite and back composite and background. And there you go, you can see it. Obviously, the floor is invisible, which is that's what you want. You don't want to see that shit. And then add a light. Um, as you can see, use your, if you use your brain, the sun is obviously this area, like sort of point it like oh. it's on the left hand side because the shadows are direct and to the right. So if you just make the the light to the it'll be the spider's right, but your left, obviously. Um, 
to about here and then go to general and go to shadow and map soft and you'll have a shadow but you know that's gone funny because of this long leg if that you know just you just have to start just testing it I don't think there we go you're gonna need a that, that's a nice shadow to do and what you want to do is you what I usually do obviously the shadow might be a bit dark but there's also some things that you can't really see like of the spider which is underneath or the front so what I usually do is I copy light take the shadow the shadow off it bring it like forward here and turn the intensity to about 70 so then you can actually see and it's got the shadows and because it's a, like a, a light without shadow, shadows it sort of diffuses the shadow itself so it sort of turns that down but if, if you really wanted to adjust the shadow from then on just go to your light with the shadow go to the shadow tab and just ch change the density which I will to about 90 which makes it sort of the similar and as you, if you look at that you probably think uh, it's, it don't really look you know like it's blending in in that well but don't, just think you got to add color correction and that with it which is what I'm going to do so I'm going to render out the first 30 frames very quickly quick time 8.264 um, cut and we'll render that and while that's rendering I've just got to show you something um, Skyrim montage to-do list I'm doing a montage um, Skyrim based and at the end of the, this video I'm gonna, I might show you a, a little clip of it so far and it looks pretty nice I must say um, I, I haven't done anything but some bits look nice we'll, we'll have to find out when I show you it after I've just done this little tutorial so yeah I've just rendered that out now here it is the video don't need that no more I shall keep up because I'll run through it at the end again and you just want to import it and if you're doing cinematics always remember to do the like the black edges around to make it like 16-9 aspect ratio so just make a box size it down duplicate it control D I think that's pretty nice um, and it adds some color correction so and put the color correction under the black lines because I'll show you what happens I, I run into a problem with that actually with my dual -tage. Thing. So I don't know what color correction to do. Uh, bollocks. What do? Oh, Enigma. My one that I made. Uh, fucking hell. That looks stupid. What it does now. My army. Oh, that was one I used for a dual now which is team touch one bollocks as you see look there's nice sharp edges here but if you put the color correction on top look at this the diffusion of this does overlap and you know look stupid put it under you still got your black boxes with the color correction underneath it and if I just quickly preview this on full with color correction. Oh, hurry up! It sort of does blend in, and there we go. Obviously, if you want to use a video, you can motion track it with Buju. I don't actually. I've never. You know, what? I'm trying to figure out how to do it. It never works for me. Motion tracking and it, 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 it fucks me up. Fucks me up big time because, you know, I'm stuck doing Cinemax on still images and that, which. You know, if I could do a fight scene with a motion track scene, oh, that'd be amazing. But I'm not there yet. So yeah, that's how to like sort of blend it in. You can, if you really do need to, um, what you can do is adjust some. It depends really what you want to do, because obviously I needed, I wanted shadows on this, 
so I used it in Cinema 4D. But um, if say you just had that and you wanted to render it out as a quick time, like you just wanted to render out this animation, no background at all, um, when you come to import it in After Effects, which I'll, I, I might just find one now, I think I've already got some, because I've still kept the whole project for my dual tires thing. Um, I'm just trying to think. A dive. Look, this is one. Um, a dive. Just, I'll just take that off. Here we go. If I put that underneath, say you've um, say this is just an actual cinematic background, which is like the picture that I imported into Cinema 4D here. So I just imported that, and I had this guy as well. If after the color correction he's a bit too dark or he's a bit too bright, just because you've rendered him out just on his own, you can adjust his color or if you want the background's colour, so I could maybe make him a bit brighter, brightness and contrast, make him a bit more with colour, a bit more brightness to him. That sort of goes well with the scene, doesn't it? You know what I mean? You could just do little adjustments with the colour and that will make him blend in a bit more. Um, so yeah, that's how you sort of put a scene together, really. I, I don't really know how else to explain it. In other words, there may be a few things that you, you know, I think colour's the main thing you can do. So I, I hope this helped. I th I'm also thinking about doing, like, um, it's not a tutorial, but it's a walkthrough on how to make a montage. Like, how I edit now, with this Skyrim montage that I'm doing, I might just go through bits on how i done it and go, like, upload part one. 3D model, I don't know, something like that. Um, thumbs up if you want that. Uh, you know, like this video if you really want to see that. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of shitloads of people on my channel recently. Like, I never really used to get a lot of um, comments in that, but when I got that bloody update video, no, don't do it. When I got that update video, I got a lot of comments on it, like saying do this and this and this. I must say, the the list is racking up. So um, that's good, because, you know, I've got things to do now. So yeah, that's how you put a scene together. Hopefully, it looks nice. I think it looks pretty nice looks pretty good. So yeah, that is the end of this tutorial and I did say I was going to show you a bit of this Skyrim montage. I'm not going to show too much, you know. Sorry about the dog by the way. They, they constantly do this. Um, current editing, Skyrim. What I've done is, I could do another tutorial on this actually. I am making, so from this trailer, which is the official Modern Warfare 3 trailer, as you, see, as you can see, it's the bit that I just uh, you just saw, um, the guy this had this the guy had the car flying towards his face, and his hand comes up. I've actually ever edited that. I've actually overlapped his arm with a Skyrim hand. Which, if I show you that, so this is the base. Um, there we go. That's the normal with the Skyrim hands. There we go. It's got a Skyrim arm as well. I've added a bit of blur to his arm just to make it blend in a bit more. Um, I've done that with a few more things like the rope attach. I'm, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to show you. Fuck it. There we go. It's very quick because um, that scene is very quick. But if I pause it, as you see, it's Skyrim hands and he's putting his rope together and he's about to jump over. Then he abseils. I'm showing you too much here, but you know, fuck it. Uh, there he is, he's up sailing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I could teach you how to sort of overlay that. It's not really hard. It's just it's very time consuming. That's that's one thing. I I spend like say three weeks on my edits. I'm not constantly on it, but you know, that's just from start to finish. I go out as well, so it doesn't. It's, it seems like a long time, but it's not that long. But if I just show you what to do um, quickly uh, bollocks bollocks the hands I do the Cinema 4D project as you can see I've just deleted the whole model and just left his hands um, and because it was he was only using his left hand I just moved the right one out of the way and um, 
Uh, where's the folder? Hit uh, no, not that one. Um, delete that one. As you can see from the hands, I've uh, got these pictures named one, two, three, and four. And I went through this just this base or this base scene, and I've picked out like four major bits. As you can see, that's one bit. That's the second bit, third bit, fourth bit. And um, if I go to his upper arm, that was the first scene, second, third, fourth. Actually, no, it'll be this first, second, third, fourth, and then this one's his arm just coming in. And the first would be this. This keyframe would be this, and I just sort of, it just sort of goes in with it, as you can see. And then you just render that out and overlap that on top um, of the actual base and add a bit of blur. That's what you get. So, yeah, I showed you a bit too much of that. But that is what I'll be working on as well. So, look forward to that because I think that this is going to be hopefully fucking sick. And I mean, like, I'm going to try some new shit. But we'll have to see. I don't know how much this video is going by. Um. Oh, that's bloody helpful. I think that's about nine minutes. Um, but anyway, please like and comment the video for the extras that I put in as well. <laughs> um, comment. Don't know what you want to comment, but just comment. It'll be good. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, um, check out the next tutorials to come. Peace.